Hi students, welcome to HSC Chemistry and the final video in the Industrial Chemistry series. In this one we're going to look at some of the issues around locating a chemical industry and we're going to use the Solvay process as our context for doing so. So <clears throat> there's a couple of important considerations for any company that's uh, determining where they're going to locate their industry. The balancing priorities between cost demand, uh, environmental impact, location of raw materials is all going to need to be um, considered in order to um, ensure that the location of the site maximizes the potential profits for the um, organizations involved. In terms of the Solvay process, and these, these are kind of um, specifics, but the rules generally apply to all um, industrial chemical, uh, industrial processes. Um, but as far as the Solvay process is concerned, there are four main priorities which we'll just unpack through this particular video. And they are raw materials, uh, labour, transportation and waste disposal. So each of these are important in terms of um, uh, considering where we're going to site our chemical industry. So the raw materials for the Solvay process are brine or salt uh, sodium chloride, usually found in um, seawater, and limestone. So obviously um, this is good if you're somewhere near the ocean. Uh, limestone um, is good if you're located somewhere near the mine so we can uh, extract the limestone readily. Ammonia is recycled through the process so as far as a raw material is concerned locating the site close to a source of ammonia is less of a, a consideration. So therefore in terms of the consideration for raw materials, the limestone quarry, um, proximity to the limestone quarry and or the brine supply are ideal um, in order to ensure that there is limited uh, costs associated with the extraction of the raw materials and their transportation to the plant. If either of those raw materials is not close at hand, then the cost of transportation will increase and, um, and that's something that we'll look at a little bit uh, later. Labor is important. Labor is a general consideration for all industries because people have to work in the industries, people have to operate the machinery, um, drive the trucks, uh, uh, work in the mines uh, and also distribute the products. So labor is very, very important consideration. So we could have a really good limestone source in the middle of the Simpson Desert um, so that's going to significantly reduce our raw material costs if we locate there. But the problem is, uh, middle of the Simpson Desert, maybe not the place that a lot of people want to go to work. Um, in order to get them to work in that environment, you may have to pay them a lot of money or you may have to build an infrastructure, a sort of mini city, if you like, in order for people to have not just um, a place to live, but also some level of recreation in their downtime. So do you sort of construct these little individual towns and cities? What happens? Um, are you trying to attract singles? Are you trying to attract, uh, attract family with um, young children? What are they going to do um, uh, as their uh, parents or parent works in the, uh, in the actual industry itself? The labor costs are also important in terms of taking your product to market. So in the, in the Solvay process, our product, is um, our uh, sodium carbonate. So we've got to get that to market as well. So we need to consider where are our markets? How are we going to transport our costs there? And that of course leads us to the next problem, transportation. The raw materials have to come into the plant and the products must be transported to the distributors and to the customers. We need to take our product to market. So how do we get it to market? How far away is it? Sometimes it needs to be shipped if it's going into uh, across country. Um, and, uh, and so therefore, uh, again, location close to an ocean often solves quite a lot of these problems. It doesn't always solve the problem of raw materials, except for the brine. Um, but if there's a port close, then it can help with the um, transportation costs. We can put all of our product onto shipping containers and uh, send them around the world. Minimizing costs involves a balance between supply and demand. So we need to know 
what sort of demand there is. And obviously, if the demand is very high, um, then we can make sure that we can uh, perhaps increase costs a little bit in order to ensure that we maximise profitability in high demand situations. But we also need to realise that, as with most of the materials that we've looked at, um, a uh, limestone is a finite resource. It's non-renewable, it takes too long. And therefore, there is only a limited supply, only a certain amount um, that we can use for this product. So locating the plant close to the source of raw materials may move it further from the market, but moving it further, uh, closer to its market may um, increase our costs of transporting materials, the raw materials to the plant. Sometimes train lines need to be laid, <coughs> trucks or road trains may be needed in the transportation process. And obviously, if you're using something like brine, it's much easier to transport solid lumps of material like limestone than uh, a liquid in solution like um, seawater. So all of these are considerations as far as transport is concerned. The final consideration, once we've produced our product, we've distributed it to our markets, is we need to know what we're going to do with the waste. Remember, it's calcium chloride that is the waste product. And so, uh, again, this is solved by the solvate plant being coastal. Wastes, uh, calcium chloride, then can be neutralised by seawater. We can just pump it straight out. Um, it also will decrease the cost of thermal pollution because the water, the ocean is such a large water body that it will absorb um, slight, uh, slightly warmer water coming in. Um, and of course, it'll provide a nice access to brine. So this is one of the reasons why a lot of Solve plants are located coastally, um, even though that can sometimes raise the cost. Obviously, if you want to buy property on a coastline, um, they're usually more expensive. Um, and sometimes they have residential implications and you don't really want a factory um, being put right next to you. Um, I guess to give you a little bit of context, the only uh, Australian Solvay plant was located in Adelaide near the port. Um, it's a few years ago shut down and was not um, considered to be economically viable anymore. It's one of the things that happens with uh, some of our chemical materials, some of our mining. Uh, prices rise and fall uh, for the products. And as a consequence of that, miners and, and industrial companies that are producing these sorts of products need to keep in mind um, the balance between what it costs them to make the product and what they can sell that product for and um, how many buyers they actually have. This is a general consideration for all um, industrial processes, but you will only need to really discuss it in the context of the Solvay process. Just think about all of those things, those key points about um, access to raw materials and access to markets for product, um, labour costs and sourcing your labour, transportation and waste disposal. That's the course and I hope you do well. Thanks for watching.